best web hosting for WordPress. So this is going to be a three minute challenge, giving you a short but concise summary of the five best web hosting providers you can use right now. So let's begin today's video right now. So let's just move my screen right here. And the first web hosting provider in our list is going to be Bluehost. So the pro is WordPress's number one recommended web hosting service. Bluehost has an automatic WordPress installation, premium speed and load times, amazing live chat support, and guided website creation for WordPress beginners. Now the cons being that, you know, affordable starting prices, but they have a high commitment period between 12 to 36 months. Let's control over automatic data backup. Can't use both HTTPS and SiteLock CDM. A2 hosting is the second one on our list. So the pro is being they have a server rewind data backups. They have 99.9 .9 uptime. They have optimized WordPress environment. They have solid state drive and they have hack scan for perpetual security. The cons for AT hosting is that it requires the more expensive plans for unlimited use, like a lot of the other ones as well. You know, the server rewind backups also require Swift or Turbo hosting plans. Um, the third one on our list is gonna be SiteGround. So SiteGround has free daily backup and restore, 99.9% .9 uptime and solid state drives. Cons being web space capped at 10 gigs and 30 gigs. Manage hosting features require grow big or go geek plans. Now the fourth one on our list is gonna be iPage. Now you get a big discount with the iPage web hosting and you can also host unlimited sites and they have an easy to use graphic based control panel, but it does come with a lot of cons. So, you know, you get a lot of upsells because it's so cheap and they don't have the best performance compared to all the other ones like AT hosting or Bluehost, right? Now the last one on our list is gonna be Dreamhost, which is one click software installation, 100% uptime guarantee, 97 day money back guarantee. For those are the pros of Dreamhost. Some of the cons being that their live chat support, you know, wait times are particularly long sometimes. Their premium WordPress hosting does cost extra as well. And many of the features inside of DreamHost cost extra as well. All right, so so far in this video, we've covered the pros and cons of five amazing WordPress web hosting solutions. So what we want to do now is kind of just go over, you know, which one out of the five, you know, is going to be ideal for you to choose, right? Now, if you click the top link down below in the video description, you'll be actually taken to my website where we have more information regarding each web hosting service. And we actually have more web hosting like services um, down below that you can actually choose from. And you can find, you know, the pricing for all these web hosting services and exclusive discounts and all their latest promotions and all that type of stuff down below as well. Yeah, let's give a final conclusion conclusion for this short but concise summary video. All right, so we've covered the pros and cons for these amazing web hosting services right here for WordPress. Now, um, this was a pretty hard list to make because um, all of these are pretty good web hosting services, right? Like none of them are really like absurdly bad or else you wouldn't even see me make a video about them. But um, the first one on the list right here is gonna be Bluehost um, and Bluehost is um, WordPress's number one recommended web hosting service. I love how AT Hosted has that anytime money back guarantee, um, which is really cool, which makes it quite unique from all the other options right here. So um, AT hosting and SiteGround, I would say they're both equal, you know, in number two spot. Number four and five, um, DreamHost and iPage, these are the cheaper options. These options right here don't perform as good as like Bluehost or AT hosting per se, but if you are on a budget, you can, you know, get DreamHost or iPage. And again, these aren't exactly that bad at all. They're actually pretty good. They're just obviously not as good as AT hosting or Bluehost in my opinion, all right? Again, I'll leave a link down below to my website where you can see more information about these web hosting companies. But with that being said, yeah, peace out.